Hello, this is probably going to be a quick video. I'm basically going to talk about, so this is specific to the Voron 1.8 users because we use these things which are called LM8LUU linear bearings. So what happens is you have four of these, I think it's four, and this holds your bed and moves up there. And it gets put in this part to help move your bed up and down. So we're going to talk about cleaning and lubricating these. So here is one that is out of the box, pretty much, so it's from China. Now by default, these are uh, shipped with basically rust prevention oil in there. So it's, it's um, some people use them as is, but I'm going to show you the difference. And I'm going to try for the first time as well too. So all I've done here is I've um, degreased and then wiped this with um, isopropylene alcohol. And you can, let's have a listen to what it sounds like. To be honest, there's not much, um, oh, there's a little bit of pressure there, but again, like overall, being on the Z axis there, this is moving very slowly. So, we're going to do this again with a very different way on this one. So, right now, I have um, cleaned this, so I did some citrus river to get rid of gunk off it. Then we use isopropylene alcohol, which I'll um, show you here. Some of this stuff, 90% um, and above, ideally 99%. Wipe that down, so I've got it um, looks nice and clean. The next trick I'm going to do with this, that's it in place? No, I won't. Okay. I'll have to make do with that for now. So what I've done here is I've got a stiff cold drink for Saturday, not quite. What happened is um, I just wanted to do a demo of this. So what I want to do, and this is going to be interesting, is get this to sit upright so then I can get this out much easier. Let's see if I can actually do that. So this is soaked again for a little while. Look at that, mastery. Will it work though? That is the question. Oh, I'm glad I've got both hands for this. Okay. Put that go up there. So I'll let that dry out for a little a minute or two. So we've got white lithium grease. Now you've probably used this already to clean your um, the MG9NH um, rails. Okay, so I'll wipe this down again. You'll see, like, look at all the dirt I cleaned off that rail before. That was just pretty much straight from the manufacturer because that's just the way they are. It's um, nice and easy to clean that up before you give it a go. So the trick with this is, um, I've seen videos from YouTube where they say go squirt some grease on there and run it across. It's, it's silly, because have a look. Oh, this will be a good before and after too, won't it? So gently put your rail through. See, pretty good. But, look at the end here. Anything that you put on the end, it's going to be sucked up the plastic retainer belts on that <clears throat> so just don't do it another way is to print out a 3d applicator so it will sit on top of this part or this part sorry and it's going to squirt into each of these channels so there's one two three four in there let's look at this on here yep all right so anyway um, that's a possible way to um, the other way to do it, which I'm going to try today, is basically put some grease in there. Now, then what you do is you put one side in, like that, and then you put another side in. So you're basically squishing whatever is in there, and what is in there is going to be grease. So the idea is they'll be squirting through into the channel and packing the bits. Great idea, hey? Let's try it out. So I'm going to do my best to 
use this applicator here to squirt that onto the channels itself and then I'm going to squirt a bit of extra grease so so I move forward a bit it's a bit more light there we go again I'm fairly liberal with how much I'm putting onto that knowing that the goal is to push as much as we can later on now unlike the um, MG9NH's where it's impossible to over grease it it is very possible to over grease these there we go let's put on a few bits there now I'm going to do the same for him. So see how I'm doing like the applicator on this will not reach all the way through, but it will reach at least half, which is good enough. Okay. So far this is way easier than um having to brute force your way through. Okay. So we've got plenty of grease in there now. I'm going to squirt a bit in the middle for good luck. There we go. Big blob. Oh, I don't know if you can see there. That's our reference. I'm going to squirt a tiny bit into the channels as well. Now because I've squirted this, this gunk, inside this plastic um, shield there, that means it's not going to... Yeah, it means it's actually going to reach the bearing balls instead of um get wiped off their part here. Okay, so let's try this out. This is going to be very interesting. So, one side here. Okay, let's give this a go. One side in. Now again, I have actually, well, I've had um my son push this through brute force fast enough that the the bearing balls came out and I don't want to do that but that's the only time I've seen that happen so again I'm very careful not to push too far in now with any other steel rod you've got now we're going to push that in and have a go at jam packing it there we go So let's try this out. Oh. So I think these have met some kind of resistance here. So I'm going to twirl this around. Now my gut feeling is that I have not put enough linear grease on here. But this is going to be a good baseline test to go, should I do more? And I can do another video. Okay, so I'm going to move this across. Oh, geez, it's made it all the way across there. Now I'm going to move it back onto the rail that it should be on. And move from there. Okay, it's done. I'm going to gently push that through. Okay, so this is done now. Whoa, wow, this is very different already in resistance. So I'm going to... Wow, okay. Oh, okay. Alright, this is big. So I'm going to quickly lubricate the rail. Oh, that is night of day. This is worth doing then. I 
Alright, so let's do a sound comparison. So, greased rail, actually let's put them side by side. So first off, the first thing you notice is, look at that. So this does, slightly falls, it got bound a few bits there, let's try this one. Whoa, look at that falling disc speed difference. So, let's check sound check. Versus, that's a lower tone. And the resistance is low, way, way, way less low. See? Okay, so I think we found conclusively that we could put a little bit of grease in and you're going to make your linear rails much, much better. So, I hope you like that. So, in, in terms of what you would do for next steps on this, you would um, you'd basically be putting your um, rails in here. you press fit it in. Uh, yep, so that's pretty much it. Um, that will be it for this video. It's a nice little tip about lubricating your linear rails for your Voron 1.8. Now, this is pretty much exclusive for the 1.8 because the 2.4s have a totally different way of doing um, the Z-axis. Which is fine. Alright, anyway, thank you for that.